Hey guys, and oh, welcome back to Kay's Land. So I am in the beauty room. I need to fix this camera, but um, hope you guys are having a great and fabulous day. I'm about to get myself together. That's why I look so bad, darling. Oh my goodness, the girl, your, your girl is looking real barefaced. Anyway, um, I figured I would just chit chat with y'all and um, throw on some makeup. I'm getting ready to um, go to lunch with babe. Um, you want <laughs> Jake was here we have been playing all morning y'all all morning he had me swinging around being dizzy and now he is watching cartoons we did our lessons for today and the lesson this week is counting to 10 and he is doing so well he can do it by himself so kudos well actually he can count to close to 26 27 when it gets to close to 30 he starts to get a little silly but all right so i just um moisturized my face i have been having some real skin issues y'all like i'm um, same old stuff never never change i use the pons moisturizing cream um to for dry skin it is a good um moisturizer for when you want to put on makeup so that's why i really love it another one that i love that i pulled out i wanted to show you guys was this clinique one i love this stuff I've been having some real skin issues, that's what I was saying. I feel like my skin is going through a, an adult phase. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the moment I turn 35, I have just been finding, like, so many things going on in my life. It is so weird. My skin is doing some weird stuff. My body is doing some weird stuff. And I'm just like, I have got to get myself together. I've got to get myself in order because this is not good like not good <laughs> i been down no lie i don't be so transparent with y'all so sunday we went out um it's jacob's birthday y'all saw that and we had a great time had we went where did we go oh we went to the farmer's market so we went to the farmer's market and i was gonna cook this dinner for I was gonna have like a dinner um a couple's night for dinner and I did we did um I invited two other couples and I was gonna make dinner that chicken Bellagio um if you haven't seen that vlog go check it out because I didn't make it and it was really really good um so um, when I got I don't even know where I started to feel the pain or how but just out of the blue random my back started hurting and y'all like my back hurt okay so i cooked dinner that day and i felt the pain a little bit on sunday um but i had to cook i had already invited these people so i had to you know cook um they were coming and even though i was thinking about canceling it because i'm like i'm really tired you know maybe um maybe i'll just tell them you know i'll do it another time but they were already kind of prepared and kind of waiting on dinner because i had already invited them so i was like oh i gotta do it so i was i, I it took me four hours to prepare the meal yeah right. so um now i'm just gonna fill in my little spots with this i'm just gonna talk to you oh no i can't use this i'm gonna talk to y'all and work at the same time but i'm gonna show y'all what i'm doing anyway so yeah like mysterious pains and then my face was getting all these mysterious bumps on them i'm like what the freak i've never had acne i didn't go through that acne phase as a kid you know like some kids have like real bad acne when they turn 16 i never had that and i remember my grandmother taking me to dr smith i think that's what his name was he was an older doctor in in my um work in pine bluff and i remember him saying she's a late bloomer like I didn't get my cycle until I was, you know, damn near 18. And I never got pimples on my face until I was... And when I moved to Texas is when I broke out really, really bad. But they told me that it was because of the climate and the weather change and the dry heat and all that kind of stuff. So, after a while, it went away. But, yeah, I was stressing about that. <laughs> but now, being 35 and having these bumps, I'm just like, girl, what the heck? What's going on? What? <laughs> Lord help me out tell me what to do so that is what I'm dealing with right now y'all like legit what I'm dealing with as far as like age <laughs> like 
Do y'all go through that? Is it just me? And I was in a store the other day and I was leaning up against the counter and I was telling the girl like, yo, I swear, ever since I turned 35, like everything's been going on. Like I, I just I get sick easy. Um, kids come in the house with a cold, then I get a freaking cold, you know? Um, like I just, just felt like things just changed. And I know most people say, but when they turn 30, that happens to them. But mine was 35. So, yeah, I, I, I'm I legit like, this is like not good. <laughs> I'm so not happy about this because I just feel like, I feel like I don't look like I'm 35, but I don't want to feel like I'm 40 either. You know what I mean? Like, I'm closer to 30, <laughs> but I don't want to feel like I'm 40. I just don't want to, I don't want to be there. I want, I want to still be vibrant and youthful. I want to move around. I want to chase the kids. I want to, I want to be beat. I want to, I don't, I'm not trying to get older and then health goes down. So, with that being said... Y'all know I'm on my health kick. I've been in the gym. I'm going to start bringing y'all with me. It's just, hold on, y'all. I got to I gotta scrape out some foundation. Y'all see this? This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid that I mixed a whole bunch of stuff in. I got to find, I got to figure out some foundation, y'all. Oh, it's something in here. Okay. Um. So, yeah, I, I've been taking um, Jacob to the gym with me. So, and I just feel like he's going to be more focused on the camera than me um recording my workout but honestly you guys are not missing anything only thing i've been doing is a bunch of cardio i've been on the treadmill for one hour and then i've been doing um back oh <gasps> that's probably why my back hurts i was doing a back oh my goodness girl Girl, oh, I I just thought about that. That's probably why my back was hurting. I did do a back workout. Now, who's to say if I was doing it right? You know, I'm in the gym. I'm by myself. I'm trying to get in and get out. I'm an hour on the treadmill. Uh, I ran for about 30 of those minutes, like um, intervals. Not straight. I'm not at that point of running straight yet, but... um. Yeah, I decided that I'm going to train for some sort of a 5K or not a marathon, but some sort of a 5K. Um, some sort of a um, 5K. So that's what I'm going to train for. I don't know which one yet. I haven't found one, but right now I'm just kind of conditioning. If you guys don't know, I was an avid runner. Every time I wanted to lose weight, I've always just ran. And running to me is so therapeutic. I love running. I absolutely love running. I, I can get a little obsessed with running sometimes. And with, like when I watch uh, Casey Neistat's videos and he's always talking about how he loves to run, I can relate because I really love to run that much. Like I can just, if I'm stressed, go running. If I need to lose weight, go running. If I just need to take a breather and go get some fresh air, I'm running. So I used to run 100 miles a month. That was always my my thing. Like I ran 100 miles for the month. And then, you know, if I, I never went over that, it was always my goal to was to get to that. So that meant I had to run like every single day of the week and no days off. So right now I haven't gotten back to that point, but I am up to trying to make sure I can at least clock in 20 for this month and then next month I'm gonna you know um bring it up and then by January I should be back to running at least 100 miles a month and because you know me running 100 miles a month that was me running every single day for months and I, I realized I was running about 86 miles before I even said okay I'm gonna do 100 miles I was running about 86 miles already so now then I changed it and then I was like you know what I'm gonna run 100 miles for the month y'all <laughs> your girl had lost so much weight and I know that the running is what did it 
but I was so not stressed. I was going through postpartum and I was trying to like figure out how to get out of my own head. That's really what it was. All right, so I have to talk and move at the same time because baby will be here in, in like 30 minutes. All right, so then I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill palette and guess what guys? Mm, mm, mm. I got a bomb giveaway for y'all. So I'm gonna give away like a whole face like whatever I'm gonna do a makeup video and then whatever I use in that video that's what I'm gonna give away so and I know like one of my favorite palettes is this Jaclyn Hill palette and I have an extra one for one of you guys um, I'm gonna give you guys it all I picked up some nails you guys know I love oh, lashes stuck to the nails okay so I just did this eye um, I'm gonna do this one my camera was overheating and I that's one thing I really hate about this Sony my the overheat thing really really bothers me but um yeah anyway I think my eyelash is lifting I just put these on these are the wispies and I got these from the uh where did I get these beauty supply and they're just the, oh this is what it looks like a dollar something dollar 19 I think it was but um yeah I don't know what the heck I was just talking about because Jacob needed a snack so I went and got him a snack and um I went ahead and did that I threw my lash on because I don't want to hear baby's mouth y'all y'all I, I, we talk about this all the time how they always rushing me I feel like I'm always fashion week just happened and you know, I don't miss being a part of the fashion world, but for some reason this year, I did. I really did. I was like, oh, I want to be there. I want to go to fashion week. I, I, I want to go back. I want to go back to the fashion world. So I'm thinking about designing a line for Noah because I love to dress Noah. And um, if you guys don't know that I have a degree in fashion and... I just I love fashion I love beauty I love fashion I just love I, I didn't love fashion when I moved to Atlanta so fun fact about me okay so I went to college in Arkansas and I um, was just really unhappy with the choices of degrees and stuff hold on my phone's buzzing let's pause this fashion thing and let's talk about this Okay, so I've been having an issue with Noah's school a little bit, right? I, um, y'all know I'm the PTA president, but I have officially put that on hold until I figure out what's going on with my child at the school because if I have an issue with my child, there is no PTA, okay? Like, if I have an issue with this school and my child, then we have an issue that I need to resolve before I can try to help everybody else's kids I know that it's selfish but that it's just me okay okay so Noah's teacher has been sending homework home so I'm gonna add in a clip where I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much homework this child has because I recorded it the other day and I just really felt like you know I want to know am I tripping or is this a lot you know she gets home at 2 30 every day and from 2 30 until sometimes 6 o'clock she's doing homework that is way too much work. So I have been reaching out to people in the education field to just to see, you know, am I tripping? You know, am I making too too big of a deal of this? Should I just fall back and just, you know, just keep assisting her, try to help her, her alone? And it's not that she's just not getting the homework. No, she she can do the homework. It's not that. It's just she's getting too much you have a spelling word you have a writing assignment you have a math assignment you have four other worksheets plus a book report plus read a, a story it's just way too much work for a first grader to come home to do after they've been at school all day so i said something to the teacher about it very polite and kind of you know well you know it takes her a long time to do the homework oh my gosh you know kind of you know just just kind of you know just a random conversation and she said oh is it too much and I said I think it's a bit much that was the first time I said something to her 
All right, so then fast forward the other day, Noah comes home on Monday, tons of homework, y'all. Like so much homework. And I was just like, wait a minute now. This is just too much. I am. I need to talk to her. So I went to the school and I asked around looking for her. I need to go get my eyebrows done. I need to do that like probably today. Anyway, so I asked around. I couldn't find her. So I was asking other people like, hey, you guys seen, you know, Noah's teacher or whatever. And they were like, oh, she left early. This is what they told me. She left early. Where's my... Oh, Lord. I hope that they didn't follow me. Where... They said she left early, so I said, oh, okay, and I left it alone. The very next day, she calls me, and she said, oh, Miss Cage, they said that, um, first of all, it's Mrs., okay? Um, you were looking for me, and I said, oh, yeah, you know, I just wanted to talk to you about Noah's homework. You know, it's taking her a very long time, and, and she was like, well, it's, it's, it's only 5% of her grade. I said, well, you know, if you if you issue it, she's going to do it, so it's not like, Oh, it's just 5% of the grade. So, you know, basically she was like, you do it if you want. That's basically what she said. Now, keep in mind, backstory is that she has been sending out messages over the Dojo app. And that's to all the parents in the classroom saying that kids are not turning in their homework. Kids are not doing their homework. And I went in there and she said she was having an issue. Hold on, guys. Oh, God. Babe just walked in the door and I'm not even ready. He's gonna flip. Anyway, okay, I'm sorry y'all. You probably hear what's going on in the background. I had to open the door so I could hear what's going on with Jacob. Um, anyway, so I told her, you know, how I felt about the homework. And she was like, basically, well, it's only 5% of the grade. And, you know, she didn't really give me any kind of comfort at all about the homework. She just kind of was like... Well, it's only 5% of the grade, and, um, you know, huh? I'm almost done. Um, what, did she, what else did she say? She said it's only 5% of the grade, and also, you know, you can, um, and the other kids are doing it. That's what she said. Now, keep in mind, I've been getting these messages. And she's been telling me to disregard the messages because Noah's doing all her homework. But the other kids in the class are not turning in their homework. So, um, I was just kind of like, you know, well, you know, I, I don't, I don't, if you're getting, sending messages out saying that, you know, people are not doing their homework, then clearly we're not the only ones that's having a problem with the homework. So she was like, well, you know. I'll talk to my other counterparts um, and see if they're having an issue and I don't so I don't know click girl so I'm like oh my gosh I, I immediately panic I'm like oh my gosh I'm like I don't want an issue with her you know like I don't want to be that parent I don't I don't want an issue with my daughter's teacher I want this stuff to go over smooth I am only looking for what's in the best interest of my child what's in the best interest right now is she wants to do extracurricular activities outside of school and with her homework schedule she does not have time to do that she just signed up for the etiquette club and now she wants to do this ballet class and if she does that she has no time to do any any one of those because no goes to bed on time every night at eight o'clock sometimes you know a little bit late but for the most part, she goes to bed at 8 o'clock every night. So she'll be well rested to go to school the next day. And she's not tired in the classroom. So I would like to keep that schedule. However, if she has homework five days a week and it's that much homework, she does not have time to do anything other than homework. And then eat dinner, take a bath, get ready for bed. And she does it again the next day. I just feel as though it's too much. And I thought... The right thing to do would be to talk to the teacher and let her know, you know, my concerns. But she didn't take it that serious because the very next day, y'all, the very next day, she sent more homework than she did the day and the weeks before. No lie. Can I make this up? So, it got to a point last night when Noah was just really tired of doing homework. And I told her, you know what, you just stop. And I let her be a kid after that. 
and I, I had an I had an appointment today to meet with the assistant principal to talk to her about it. And I just realized, like, you know what? I'm not going to make this a big deal. Noah's going to do her homework regardless. Um, but I don't want an issue with the teacher. Sorry, I'm, I'm lying in my eye. I don't want an issue with the teacher. I want what's in the best interest of my, of my child. So, therefore, I don't want to go back and forth with her. I don't want to be telling on her. I feel like if she feels she is a teacher and she feels as though it's not too much, then I don't know. Maybe when Noah gets to the point where she can't do anymore she's just exhausted she's tired it's too much maybe i i i, I don't know what to do so what do y'all do do y'all have your do y'all have issues with teachers do y'all how much homework do you guys do and my friend who is a teacher told me to do my research it's on some kind of like scholar or um like harvard or do my research and find out what is the standard like what's a good amount of homework for a first grader to be doing the time length um each project like what should a first grader be learning and what's a healthy um, time frame of how much homework they do after school every day so she she looked it up and said something like 30 minutes max like that's what she told me she's like she should not be doing no more than 30 minutes every day after school and anything after that is excessive and so she's and she's been teaching for like 15 years but even other parents in the classroom y'all I was out and they're complaining about it so I know I'm not the only parent um, clearly the, she's sending out these notes saying that kids are not turning in their homework because it's too much homework and you know other parents are probably not on their kids back like you got to do all that homework because you know they're probably allowing their kids to be kids but then babe said something that was that that kind of you know gave me a different way of looking at it as well he was like you know this is only making her smarter it's helping her to take her education serious so it, it could be twofold and it's it's clearly she's she's like advanced when she goes to class and I don't know if it's because we work with her every day or what you know I just know that I do want her to have some sort of a childhood outside of school so I don't know y'all tell me let's 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 talk about this situation in the comment section um because I really want to know like have you guys gone through this or I'm pulling my eyelash out y'all so sorry I'm looking down have you guys gone through this like what what do you guys think I should do should I go talk to the principal should I um uh, talk to the teacher again or I, I don't know I don't know what to do but I don't want that problem with the teacher I don't I don't want an issue with the teacher I I want to stay in a great relationship with her because my daughter is in her class all day I don't want my daughter being mistreated I don't want her you know not having favor in class as of right now I feel as though she goes above and beyond anything they ask her to do she did a science project and matter of fact I'm sure I, I, think I showed you guys that in the last and they said in the class like she she went above and beyond everything they asked her to do well you know that alone gives her favor and I don't want that to be taken away from her because I personally feel like it's too much homework so I don't want to issue with the teacher if that makes sense anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and hurry up and get dressed because babe's waiting on me and I gotta go and so I'm gonna stop talking and then I'll see you guys in a minute <laughs> uh, they're in the car waiting on me I'm just turning the TV down <sighs> Yeah, so I just threw on this like black uh, thing and like a pencil skirt. I wanted to just kind of be cute, you know, since this is like a day date with Jacob. <laughs> um, I did not line underneath my eyes. I have no um, bronzer on and no um, highlight on and no lips. So I'll do that in the car. I was just trying to rush because um, we're trying to eat lunch and then get back to pick Noah up from school. So I'll see you guys in the car. Hey right, guys, we just made it here. We at Longhorns. We was gonna go to Ted's, but somebody is complaining about the time. You on my hand? No, you hold on my hand. 
Write the totals in the tally chart. Same thing. Count them. Put the numbers. And then use the tally chart in exercise I to make bar graph. Okay, so then however many it is, you're going to color them in here. I did these because I already know these and I think this is nine. You have to count them. You can't think. Two, two, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, I was right. Nine. And then for each one of these here, you need to color them in. Okay. For these. Six. How many is it for car? Six. Then you need to color these in. And then van is three, and then, and then a truck is nine. Okay. Hey guys. So... <laughs> Hey y'all, so um, we went to Beauty's house for a little while. Get off the bike. No more. We went to Beauty house for a little while today. Um, hung out with her because she's been out of town. And um, I'm having some trouble with my computer and my editing and stuff. I've been wanting, trying to get a, a video up for you guys. But it is, okay, so this is what happened. The computer was full. I um, I moved it was like 300 and something gigs like it was a big file so we had some work stuff that we had to get done but with all the new programs that we put on the computer to get the work stuff done it slowed the computer down so we deleted iMovie for the time being to clear up space and to see what was basically we we, we wiped the entire computer you done yeah. You finished everything? So we took everything off the computer. Sorry, all the kids are bothering me right now. Um, so we took everything off. And then in my mind, I'm like, well, I could always just put iMovie back on there because I have like four videos I need to edit right now. Um, but I'm having an issue. Like every time I try to re-download iMovie, it's saying I don't have the latest version of the Mac OS 10.3. Okay, so when I go to download it, it's giving me another, like I download it and then it gives me another error like, oh, you need to have 
I the o, Mac OS 10.3 and I'm like well that's what I'm trying to do anyway so I don't know what's up with that I can't get iMovie back so I am sitting here right now trying to figure out play through what we just imported the program that I do have is Premiere Pro now. So, which I've been wanting to switch over and edit on Premiere Pro anyway, because I feel like now that, okay, so I feel like now since I'm editing for other people now, it's just, it just makes more sense for me to learn how to edit in Premiere Pro, Pro or Final Cut Pro. So I had two options, Final Cut or Premiere Pro. And you know, Babe pretty much works off of Premiere Pro and he can teach me Premiere Pro, he said, within a day. So, um, we just really felt like, you know, okay, let's just get the updated version of Premiere Pro at home and then you learn how to use Premiere Pro. And then if you want to go back to iMovie, you go back to iMovie. But in the meantime, learn Premiere Pro, I can get better effects, better editing, um, better sounds. Like, I can fix things in the program all these super advanced things that I cannot get in iMovie. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm ready to for, for more. I am filming and doing more B-roll stuff and I wanna turn the vlogs into something new. And I and I said that, I told you guys that in, a, in one of the um, last videos, like what my plan is and how I really wanna change some things about the vlog, so. I'm just sitting here trying to watch some videos on YouTube on how to edit. So this guy is saying that this is a tutorial for beginners. Okay, buddy. And um, you can learn it in within 20 minutes. And I have been playing around with it. Um, but, you know, mm, it, it, everything is a learning curve, you know. So everything takes time. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how this is all going to go down but i am trying to pick it up i'm gonna try to edit a video tonight because babe is working really late tonight so but when i put the kids to bed i'll i can really put my headphones on and like really edit it's 7 30 right now let me see yeah 7 30 right now and um i'm gonna sit here and watch the rest of this it has another Oh, uh, 20 minutes and 46 seconds, so I'm going to watch this. And then I'm going to put the kids to bed um, after that. And I don't know. I guess I'll come back and talk to you guys in a minute. I feel like I'm missing somebody's birthday. You know, like, you know how days go by and you're like, today is somebody's birthday. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I, for, I, I can't remember who it is. It's September 13th. It was Deanna's yeah, I don't know who that is. So, I don't know. I'm going to sit here and finish this video. Let the kids watch a movie or something. And then I need to come back and we need to... We. You and me. <laughs> we need to figure out a grocery uh, list for... I'm so over going back and forth to the grocery store, y'all. Oh, my God. I feel like that's all I do. But, um, yeah, I'm sitting here uh, watching this video. I was watching Missy Lynn's vlog when she went to see Jayla. Um, but I had to put that on hold because... I need to be editing my own vlog. Um, so, I'm going to finish watching this. Hopefully, I learned something, y'all. Wish me luck. <laughs> and you can see that the beginning and end of the clip isn't there. It's just the section that we wanted. Hi guys, so I just put the kids to bed and I'm still sitting here trying to figure out this editing. So not much else is going on. Um, Lindsay came over for a few minutes and we got to talk for a little while. I've been unclipping my clip-ins right here, so it may be kind of loose. But anyway, um, hope you guys had a great and awesome day. I'll see you guys in the next one.